Hey everyone, Brian with Workshop Addict and today I want to go over Milwaukee's new compact half inch impact wrench. Now I have two models here because they have two variants of it. Both are model number 2655, one has a B at the end. The standard 2655 is a pin detent model. So this model is normally used when you're above six feet, you have an attachment on the end that you don't want to have fall off on accident and hit somebody who's working below you. So this model, you actually, if you put a socket on or attachment, you have to push the little hole in the, in the area of the pin to push the pin in to be able to remove the attachment. The normal, or the 2655B has a normal anvil on it that just has a little ball detent on it. So when you slide a socket on it, it can be slid off fairly easily with a little bit of resistance. That's kind of what's standard on most ratchets. Both have the same exact specs, both look the same. The only thing that's different is the anvil. So let's dive right into some specs. Now on both models, mode one is 80 foot pounds of torque, zero to 1700 RPM, zero to 2500 impacts per minute. Mode two, 120 foot pounds of torque, zero to 2000 RPM and zero to 3000 impacts per minute. Mode three, 210 foot pounds of torque max, zero to 2400 RPM and zero to 3100 impacts per minute. Now, I started out looking at this review and you'll see I have a lot of tools here, so it kind of led me in a bunch of directions. I pulled out the instructions and the first thing I seen on here is they have the half inch impact wrench, the 3 8 inch impact wrench, wrench and the normal 2653 I believe which is the impact driver. So when you look at these tools, I have the 3 8 impact wrench here and the normal impact driver. Fairly the same size, in fact the 3 8 impact wrench and this are almost identical. All of them have the same modes, the three modes that you can push and switch on the bottom. I thought that was neat. I, as you can see I'm kind of invested in this compact series. I like the lightweight. I like to be able to move around. I like to use these things. Um, when you look at this, here's Milwaukee's big half inch model. Significant difference, significant weight difference. Um, on this model, I believe without the battery, it's right around two and a half, three pounds. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up. If I'm incorrect, I'm gonna put that up on the screen. The other thing that's kind of got me, and one of my favorite tools that I've had lately is also this 3 8 inch, but this is an M12. So when you look at the size difference, the M12 is definitely designed different, but it's right in the same realm, less power than this, but, a nice tool. So that's why I'm really into this compact stuff. You use it every day. You don't need 1,100 foot-pounds of torque all the time and you can get by with something like this. So I thought perfect day. I have to rotate the tires on the Jeep. Got in, started using it and the first thing I thought was wow it took a little bit uh, longer to actually remove 90 foot-pound uh, tightened lugs. Kind of surprised. But at the same point, as I moved through it, it was smooth. Uh, it wasn't just hammering them out and spinning them out, but it wasn't having any problems with it. So it led me to believe, well, I need to do some more testing. So as I put the lug nuts back on, I used level one, and it's supposed to go into 80 foot pounds. It, that's a great mode for actually tightening up lug nuts evenly, because you're gonna come back with a torque wrench and torque them up anyway. So you have a light load that you're not gonna over torque any, uh, Lug nuts, you just get it done. So I went back and I tightened my lug nuts up to 95 pounds and there was a significant difference between the 80 foot pounds and 90 foot pounds in there. So I started digging into it. On mine, on the Jeep, the most I could get out of level one was 73 pounds. Not bad, it just happened to be what I was using and I was also using the compact 2.0 battery pack. Didn't test it with the 4.0 battery pack. I see that that's what they used on the back for all their stats. So I went right into testing this with a bolt, basically in a vise. I moved up to the 4.0 back, uh, battery pack because that's what they have on the box. I thought, well, let's see what it'll do. Putting the nut on, I was actually messing with an inch and a 16th socket head and an inch bolt here. and. Uh, I got to 193 foot-pounds on the bigger bolt and on the smaller shorter one I got to 184. Now 
everything's going to be different. So I started tightening them up. I tightened them both up and I actually slipped this one in the vise before I got to 210 foot pounds. I was able to remove both of them, no issue, at 210 pounds. So when you're actually fastening a bolt, it's going to be a little less than what it's saying it will. But when removing it, it had zero issue getting both of them off at 210 foot pounds. So that's nice. It, it's nice to know that everything lives up to what it's at. But when you're fastening, know that you're going to be a little less than what the specs are that's listed out. Simply put, this three mode really works great. You can adjust and have a nice compact unit for whatever you happen to be working on, if it's cars or construction. Either way, I really like the new movement to smaller, lighter tools that have a little bit less power, but still have enough power to do everything you're doing during the day. If you need the larger tool, you go grab the heavier model, get the job done, and put it back down. Use this you know, as your everyday carry tool. So if you're in the market looking for something new, or if you're just looking for a tool that you can do most of your automotive work for, this is it. You also have different models like the 3 8 inch model and impact driver that all look and work the same. So it's very familiar, a very comfortable grip. This is a fuel product, so it does, uh, although we got a bare tool, you have the Redlink battery, you have, or excuse me, Red Lithium battery, the Redlink intelligent system, and the Power State brushless motor. Everything works to get together to give you long battery life and excellent runtime with the most power that's possible in its uh, platform. Check them out, I think you'll like it. Stop by Workshop Addict, check out our blog that we have on this article or this tool. Also, our forum, let's talk tools, woodworking, metal fabrication, home improvement, or just about anything do-it-yourself. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Have a great day.